Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create dynamic linked organizational chart. Two ways of doing it, one manual and one that will automatically pick up using Microsoft Physio, as you can see in this diagram. So first of all, the first example, I've got these boxes linked to this data. So you create this table and then you link these boxes to that table. So that's what I want to do first off. So I'm going to just copy this information and put it onto a separate sheet. Now, the first thing I need to do is use a feature called flash fill to concatenate, if you like, or join these cells together so they're all in one cell. And the way you do that is you just get yourself into a blank cell to the right, type how you want the information to be. So Steve Saxton manager, that's what I want that to be. That's all I want it to be. So then you highlight this area and you do control and E and it will fill all the rest in. So now this is the area that I can link my shapes to. So over here, I'll just do a shape. So insert shapes, pick a rectangle or a square really, a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. And what you should really do is try and format this the best you can. If I go to home, I want this to be centered, centered, maybe bold it's up to you. And then all you have to do is copy as many of these as you want to, to align to align them together so I'm just holding my control key down while I do that and then straight away making a mistake because I haven't got enough space oops I'll just have to delete that one so let's just move that one across and this one across a little bit now once you've got this set up, I could do this on a, a separate sheet, to be honest, and it will probably be a separate sheet from this data. And then I'll just do one for this one. Come across, let go. So I've got my control key down all the time. And now I need to connect this up using connectors. The elbow connector I'm going to use. So sit there, glue that to that shape it again glue it to the next shape and then maybe adjust it slightly to the, so the line goes straight now there are lots of tools that you can use to create organizational charts um, there's Microsoft Visio itself if you haven't got that you can do what I'm going to do on the next sheet there's the preloaded smart art features which are great except you have to type everything out now if you've already got it already typed out like I'm simulating in this example, that is a different process altogether. So you can just do this. And it's as simple as just typing equals into one of these boxes um, via the formula bar. So click up there, type equals, and then click onto the information that you want to appear. And then it should appear in that box. So the two managers equals, so Dave Jones, and then this one, click up there, equals Brian Green, tick. And then Dave Jones is two members of staff, equals up there, and Brown, tick. And equals up there, Pete Smith, tick. And then the information just fills into these boxes, equals Alison Green and finally equals David McNeil. So that data is now sitting in these boxes and you can adjust this as you wish. So that's an example as if you've already got the table of information there, you can just link it in. With using the, the Smart Art objects, you have the same features. So I pick the hierarchy one. But then you don't have 
the ability to go up there and type equals, that's not active. So for me to have the same structure, although this is more dynamic in, in, in terms of moving boxes around and getting them to add on quickly, whereas this process is manual, I'd have to position the boxes. This one, you have to type all the text in, whereas this one, you can just link it in once you've drawn the box. So it's also for courses, I suppose, but I just wanted to show you. That's one example. Just get rid of this. Now, the next sheet, this is where I've used a Visio viewer as an add-in, and you get this structure like so. And if I add anybody else in, so if I put another person in there, Brian Black, um, admin, Yeah, and let's say he's linked into seven. If I refresh this data, that should stick him on the bottom there. All right, so so that is slightly more dynamic, but a bit more involved in the way you create this. Now, this is what I am going to do on this next sheet. Let's create a new sheet. So this is an add-in. So you go insert, and then my add-ins. I've already got that one there, but I'm just going to click on it. So these are some add-ins that I've got. If I go to the store, what you would be doing is searching in there for Visio, which is this one. And it says there you may require additional purchase. You do need a Visio license if you want to edit the diagram itself. But as you saw there, when you add a new person, it just automatically does it. So if I go um, back to my add-ins, select the one I want, add it creates the drawing and you've got these um, options. It's not the full uh, Visio functionality at all, but you've got some and I want to pick this one. And it creates this structure. Now on this structure, if you click onto any of these, it gives you a bit of an idea what sort of information you need to set up before you can utilize this feature. So as long as you follow this structure across the top there, which I have done, you should then be able to copy and paste your data across the top of this and then refresh and then it will do it for you. So if I go back to sheet three where I've got that data, so I'm just going to highlight the data that I want. And then copy and go back to sheet four and just click into cell A2 and paste and then refresh and it puts that information in for me. Now, if there was an error, it comes up with an error message and you've got, um, not this, but a little box appears and tells you what, what, what you've made as a mistake. So I can't edit this diagram because I need to pay for Visio, which is not that expensive to be honest, but you could add that to your subscription. Down the bottom there, you've got a an ability to zoom in and zoom out. Not that much. Let's come back to what it was on. Now, as you saw before, if I add a new person, it will add that person in. So you, so your diagram will grow. There will be a limit. There is a limit in Visio. I know that because I've done my family tree and it stops you have to, it's quite a big limit, but I went back to the 1500s on my family tree and it, it wasn't having that as it got right down, but it's quite big. Even though Microsoft says there is no limit, there is. So if I just put my name, no, not my name, uh, Steve Black again, so look, admin. So he's going to be linked to number seven and his staff. And then you come back over and refresh and it should stick him at the bottom which it does there so that's two examples of how you can create a dynamic organizational chart in this 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 example in excel so that's the end of this thank you for your time and i shall see you on the next one